Hello, welcome to Maths with J. We're going to integrate this by substitution. In fact, sometimes this is called U substitution because we usually use U to represent the, uh, the new variable. Let's first of all just rewrite the integral to make it really clear what we've got here. So sine to the power of 5x really is sine x to the power of 5. And very often when we're doing this kind of integration, the thing that the u is going to be equal to is the thing that's in brackets. Let's see why that works. So let's write down that we're letting u equal sine x. And we need to differentiate this. So that gives us du by dx. And then what we're really looking to do here is to replace the dx by du. So we're not really multiplying across by the dx here, but it's a way of thinking about it. So what we're saying is that when we're integrating with respect to du, that has the same effect as integrating with respect to cos x dx. So we're really integrating with respect to, to x, aren't we, in the original integral, and we want to integrate with respect to, to u. So now if we replace in our integral the sine x by u, that's just u to the fifth, and we can see that we can replace the cos x dx by du, and now we've got a really simple integral. So to integrate u to the fifth, it's u to the five plus one, so it's u to the six over six plus c. And then we of course remember that in fact u was actually equal to sine x, so it's sine x to the power of 6, so we can write that like this, plus c 